Hi friends, welcome. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. If you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button. I'd love to have you as a subby friend. And if you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up. I'm trying really hard to grow this channel and your comments and thumbs up are so, so helpful. So today, what I wanted to show you, we did a video a few days ago, and if you haven't seen it, I'll link it in the description, and we made homemade glitter. So there's so many recipes for homemade glitter out there, and this is one that I hadn't seen quite as often, because most of them involve like chopping up cellophane. Well, this was made um, coloring salt and baking it. So I thought that I would use the glitter on a tumbler and we'll see how it looks. So um, I will show the whole process to you, but this is the tumbler and it turned out really cool looking. Now, you know, the colors, I probably should have thought more into the colors as I was making them, but I'm actually good with these once I've made it because I have a girlfriend who's from New Orleans and I will, when it gets close to Mardi Gras, I will put a Mardi Gras decal on here and her name and this will go to her. But I applied the glitter using, um, I put epoxy on and then put the glitter um, with some alcohol inks and stuff and I have the video of that. And then afterwards, I did go ahead and put another light layer of epoxy over top of it because that's what we would do with any other glitter. So this is it afterwards. And I'm really surprised. Like it is very, very smooth. And, um, you know, it's not a real glittery effect, but the effect is actually really cool. So it reminds me of when we put the Epsom salt in um, letter keychains. So this is actually a very, very cool kind of look. I just want to put it close because I want you to see, you know, how it comes out. Now, of course, you know, this will need a decal. It'll need, you know, a finishing coat of epoxy. Um, but... It really did turn out very, very cool. So would I use this as all of my glitter? Of course not. But will I do this again? I absolutely will. I love how this turned out. And like this, this weird like spread effect that it does... It's very, very cool. So I'm actually pleasantly surprised by this tumbler. I didn't necessarily expect to be. And uh, yeah. So here it is. I will um, attach the video of putting it together. And then in the description, I will put the video of... Um, making the DIY glitter. All right. All right. Well, listen, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you have a blessed and fabulous day, friends, and I will see you later. Bye. All right, friends. So what we have going on, it's a little interesting. You know, last night, remember, we did our homemade glitter and when I was picking the color combinations, I wasn't really thinking about the color combinations together on a tumbler. So it's a little bit of an odd color combination. We'll see if we're able to put it together to look nice. I have my epoxy mix. So this is my Promarine epoxy, part A, part B. And I have, I did a little bit of like this pink, purple color of mica powder here and then I did some white I like to put white in because it sort of does a nice break with some of the color so I have white and then I do have these little pink 
um, foil flakes and I have this tool to put them on. And we're going to see how this homemade glitter holds up on a tumbler and we'll put it together. I mean, it might come out crazy looking. Oh, and also I have some alcohol ink, this green color here. Um, it may come out a little crazy, we'll see, but at least we'll have an opportunity to see how this homemade glitter looks on a tumbler, all right? So here we go. <clears throat> and I think I wanna go this way. So we'll start out with just a base of epoxy. Now I had to take a, an unexpected meeting, even though I'm kind of at the end of my work day, I had an unexpected meeting I had to take. So my epoxy did sit a little bit. getting ready to go get my hair done. I'm so grateful because I, I, I tell you, I don't know, my, my gray just pops out so quickly these days. So I just want a nice base not too too thick but thick enough um, to hold everything that we're gonna put on it and let's see so this isn't anything I've ever done before we're just gonna sort of see as we go all right so I am going to start out with some alcohol ink this kind of bluish green color. We'll give that a chance, let it kind of move. Right, so I'm going to go in with this Kind of gray color here. Now the one thing I will say is it it, it is you know a little heavy feeling, but I mean it honestly looks like it covers pretty good. So now I'm going to kind of go in with the green a little bit. Ah, didn't mean to do that. I'm losing a lot of glitter. Now this sort of feels to me like when I use sand, because I use sand on tumblers, like when I'm doing a beach tumbler and stuff.
This may very well look crazy. However, we can at least see how our glitter does. I'm just adding some more epoxy to the different to the mica powders and then I'm adding the leftover purple to the leftover white. kind of reminds me of like a Mardi, uh, Mardi Gras cup. All right, so we're gonna let this run 
we're going to let it mix and just see how it does. All right, and I'll bring it back to you when it's done. All right, so this is something I'm finding interesting with this I'd like you to see. And because the glitter is, you know, heavier than regular glitter, you can see, I mean, the heavy, thick pieces are falling off, which is good. But it's interesting because you see how it is mixing in the swirl straight around it. So that's a very interesting. I actually think that this is going to turn out quite pretty. So I'm really excited to see the end of it, but I just wanted you to see it turning because of the heaviness. You know, the salt is definitely heavier than like cellophane glitter. So, but it's interesting for sure. So I will bring it back to you when it's done. All right, so that layer is all done. So I haven't put anything else over it yet. And I'm going to now, if you can see, it's, you know, it's a little bit raised. And, you know, here on the end, some of this glitter will just wipe off. But it looks nice. It looks really nice and it's not too bad. It's not, not quite as raised as like, um, like chunky glitter. It kind of, you know what? It feels like sandpaper is what it feels like. Now remember this was putting it on, on top of the epoxy so instead of epoxy on top of it so I'm gonna go ahead and put another layer of epoxy over it okay and then when that's done I'll bring it to you um, and we'll see how it looks but I think it looks really pretty 